with the title of Catering Practices and Innovation in the New Normal. For the introduction, coronavirus 2019 has put an end to almost everything on the planet. Because of the pandemic, much has changed in the industry of hospitality and tourism, particularly in food management. Most people are now afraid of crowded places like gatherings and events. Due to this, many companies and venues, including restaurants and catering services, have been forced to close because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Thousands of jobs and millions of dollars have been lost in this high-demand industry as a result of this. The objective of this study is to identify the strategies utilized by catering services, to describe the challenges encountered by catering services, and to identify the technological innovation applied. For the methodology, this study utilizes the transcendental phenomenology model, which is established by Husserl, Mustafa, 1994, where data were acquired by systematically acquiring analysis and interpreting, interpreting information from experiences and feelings of the participants. By a conversation using a phenomenological as a methodology of, of this study, researcher was able to get a better understanding of the obstacles hardship and suffering faced by catering services during the pandemic. The participants include the catering service owners and managers who have expertise in supplying products and services during the pandemic, chosen to propose something. In terms of research instrumentation, the questions that the researchers used to gather data needed to be validated in order to make sure that the information given to the participant was accurate. To do this, the linguistic subject specialist and thesis advisor review and analyze the questions that the researchers use to guarantee that, that the questionnaire accurately evaluates its goals independent of the participant, to ensure the government health regulation protocols are followed and the data is collected based on its relevance and use in the research. The researcher utilizes the most secure and safe way to acquire data in the new normal which is through social media platforms like Zoom, Google Meet, Google Forms, and Facebook Messenger. For the ethical consideration, the participants were given a letter consent to protect their identity during recruiting and dissemination procedures. Participants were told about the introduction and pur purpose of the study before to the interview. It was noted that while well, their participation in the research was voluntary. Their decision to join or withdraw from it would have no effect on their work position or catering peers. For the findings of, of strategies, the participant followed the government health protocol, which include using spray bottles for alcohol, face masks, gloves, and hairnet, as well as contact tracing. They also encouraged the employees to get fully vaccinated. To stay open during pandemic and still give good services and make sure their customer health is safe, they operate with fewer employees and fewer tables, offer pickup food to go, food delivery, and scheduled customer in groups. Two of the participants employed unusual strategies, such as using their own cars to transport workers from their homes to the events, while another participant constructed a room for the works to stay in in order to reduce close contact. This tactic lessens employees' interaction with co-workers and other customers, which protects clients and maintains a positive work environment. This method assists caterers in surviving the pandemic, continuing to run their business and offer high-quality service while protecting the well-being of the customers. Additionally, by using these techniques, people can relax and feel secure even while they are at gatherings or events during the pandemic. The challenges. Most of participants encounter challenges pertaining to a rise in expenditure because of pandemic-related technologies. It needed in operation prescribed by the IATF. Another issue that the participants confront is a shortage of staff to guarantee that social distancing is maintained during the event. Pre-fact food and food delivery over proper food handling are the most common pandemic challenges in catering services. 
One of the participant challenges is having limited access to storage and preparation while meeting food quality control standards. Changes in services and strategies used by catering services as well as in government policies like health protocol have led to our cause these problems. Findings for technological innovation. Catering services owners and managers identify the variety of technological innovation which may be used and effective in operating an event. To ensure reliability and safety while providing excellent service. Most of participants use technological innovation such as thermal scanner, humidifier, food pedal, alcohol dispenser. Participants adopt this method because it prevents the spread of coronavirus at an event. During pandemic, technological innovation benefits caterers by increasing the productivity and providing clients with new and improved products and services that ensures quality service. The key themes that emerge from the participants' replies are shown in the screen. This demonstrate how catering businesses have adjusted to the new normal. From the responses to the challenges they face on, a, on an organization and individual level, to the solution they adopt to their implementation and self-learning and to what keeps them going. This objective aims to summarize the responses of the participants to a guide that emerged from the conduct of the interview. These data were collected and analyzed using tabular and textual analysis of the participants' responses. The bullet are the subtopic of the main team emerge. For the conclusion, catering services owners and managers identify a variety of technological innovation which may be used in operating an event to ensure reliability and safety while providing excellent service. Participants use strategies such as package promotion and discount, vaccinated employees, cattle employees, reduced table capacity, pre to go food and food delivery, and customer batch scheduling. This strategy helped caterers in enduring the pandemic and continuing to operate and provide quality service by ensuring their clients' health. Increased expenses, lack of manpower, packaging pre packed items, and improper food handling are most common pandemic challenges in catering services. In addition to having financial difficulties, they also strive to make or embrace new practices and innovation while still being able to offer the guests high quality service. Briefing and guidelines are required to create a list of effective and appropriate procedures that may be used in catering services to ensure that safety and quality service are provided. And these are the reference, and that will be all. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan Tobias, and uh, your roommates as well. Can you give them a big round of applause? <laughs> so now we will go back to the first presenters challenges and strategies of marketing. Oh, okay. uh, we have uh, as our presenters. Uh, Again, uh, Dean Angela Costa. Who may have to read it? Who is 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 Morelia Andrea Solina, Christine Abanto, Marie Janel uh, Almaden, Tiffany Quinn Paniva, Shirley Brown, 